Hey, what's going on, my fellow collectors? Jim here, and tonight let's take a look at the Jada Toys Metal Diecast Batmobile and Batman from the Batman Animated Series. So, I'm um, a super huge Batman fan, super huge Batmobile fan, and I'm always down for things like this, especially at a kind of more convenient, smaller scale that is just, you know, doesn't take up a lot of real estate. So, um, I picked this up the other day at Walmart. Uh, I believe this is new. I haven't seen this before, but um has a really, really nice big open window in the front of it, as you can see, and there's a lot of kind of Gotham City going on behind here, if I can get that without just all of the, you know, reflection and everything like that. But really nice packaging if you want to keep it on packaging. The Batmobile, just from looking at right here, looks really, really nice. I like it a lot better than the NJ Corsair or whatever it is, because it's got that really nice jet black to it, but... That's the packaging, pretty big open window. You got Metal Diecast, Batmobile, and Batman DC. You got the Batman Anime Series logo right there. You got the Diecast figure. Uh, top of the packaging, again, you just got bubble. Side of the packaging, again, you can see that, you know, you can clearly see the Batmobile from the front. So that's pretty cool. Of course, you got the other side where you can see the Bat Batmobile as well. On the back, kind of co goes over some specs. What it looks like it it does, it looks like it has a little hood f feature on it, a whole bunch of warnings and all that. And on the bottom, of course, we got barcodes and all that nonsense. Screwdriver, this thing's probably going to be a pain in the butt to get out of the packaging. But let's do exactly that and take a closer look at this animated series, Batman and Batmobile. And as you can see out of the packaging, like most of these are, they're just kind of a pain in the butt to take apart. Uh, they, there's definitely screws. It's kind of a mess. You kind of have this bubble that's protecting the back of it. But this does give us a better look at kind of this, you know, background we got going on here, which just kind of has that animated series look of Gotham City. It almost looks like they're like way up on a rooftop, which is a little bit odd. But it's still pretty cool. And I mean, I guess if you, you know, are, caref are careful enough, you can keep this in decent con condition, you know. But of course, underneath we have all of this n nonsense. It's kind of crazy how they do this. But um, give a little cut there, open up that. And as you can see, you are gonna need a small little screwdriver because even Batman is uh, screwed in. And of course, you just gotta unscrew the screws and all that. And you gotta unscrew Batman. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, now let's take a closer look at these. Now, so first of all, first of all we do get a die-cast metal Batman figure so this is pretty plain I mean I'm not a huge fan of these metal figures but I mean I guess it is something that is you know neat that it's included I will say it does look decent you know um, I do like his kind of pose he's kind of pre posed to be getting ready to throw a battle ring uh, the cape is a kind of very soft plastic you know rubbery plastic uh, I do like the sculpting that we have back here on the cape. <clears throat> I do like the uh, scallops down here. Uh, his suit looks to be very glittery, almost like a very glittery gray. I will say a very clean Batman decal there, though. Uh, yellow belt. And then we have this stupid writing that's just so blatant. Even with the figure standing there, you can see the C. That's kind of annoying. But um, he's pretty small. He only measures... Um, a little over two inches tall, but I will say he looks decent next to it. I mean, it makes, and he does stand pretty well. So, you know, I mean, it is something cool to put next to the Batmobile. Now, the Batmobile itself, I think it looks really sharp. I love the nice, you know, uh, jet black that we get for this version. Um, and again, I like the scaling. I like this kind of, it doesn't really take up that much real estate. It's pretty much just a, about the same size as like the Hollywood rides. Even though again, it says nowhere on the packaging what scale it is. Um, I think when I was doing the Ecto-1, a lot of people were saying this is a 1 19th scale. And these two pretty much kind of measure up to be pretty much the same as far as scale goes. So I mean, that's where, you know, this is going to go in the collection. But I mean, it, it's it's nice, it's small, it looks great. 
you know, it's die cast, it's got some heft to it, it looks good, and it's not big and huge, and it's definitely going to replace the NJ Crosse or however you say that version that I currently have. But, um, taking a more kind of closer look at it, there's really not much to it. I mean, it's sharp looking, it looks just like it did in the Batman animated series. Um, you know, the wheels look really, really cool. They are rubber wheels, and of course, they do move, so that's always always a bonus when we have moving wheels um i really like the grill i think the grill looks great and again we get nice translucent plastic for the lights um as you can see we get a really really nice chrome for the engine so that's really cool we kind of get this kind of uh more gunmetal gray for the grill so that just looks awesome the windows are uh, really really tinted out but it, but it is translucent plastic and you can kind of see some something going on in there but you really can't make out what it is um coming around to the back again you know you've got that awesome just look of the animated series batmobile it's kind of hard to make out but if i flip it up you can see that they did add some translucent um plastic for the tail lights and that is done in a red so that looks really cool Then of course we have translucent plastic a nice orange for the you know turbine and then more for the um uh you know engine parts down here so that's pretty cool now the one thing i will say is a bummer about this even though i do like the scale and i like the weight um the only feature we get is just this kind of open hood feature which reveals the engine now that is cool and it is very nice and clean and a very bright chrome color and it does look pretty cool but i mean that's pretty much it you know that's that's really the only feature that comes with this batmobile um, it would have been great to see some of these lights light up it would have been great to have a moving cockpit that actually moved the correct way not like not like on the nj crochet ver cro version but i mean you know overall it is cool it looks great it looks just like it did in the animated series and it will make a really nice you know addition to the collection now i'm um, on to measurements measuring this out from the front to the back of the wing, it looks like it is about a little over nine and a quarter inches long. And then in the front, it looks like we have about, uh, I would say maybe what, three and a half inches. And then that kind of continues all the way, it gets a little bit more skinny of course. And then on the back we have about three inches. So. I mean, it does look. It does make a nice piece for the shelf. Now, I'm um, getting some comparisons. Here is that NJ Crochet version that came with the uh, bendable figures. So you can see just how much bigger this one is compared to the uh, Jada Toys version. Um, so I was definitely surprised at how big this <laughs> this version actually is, and how off the color is this is a very very navy blue color where with this you get that really really jet black so i do think that um, this version does look a lot better and of course you can see the length this one is a lot bigger and i guess that was for more or less to um compensate for the bendable figures that we got with this version that didn't even fit in there but you can see that this is definitely bigger, you know, all the way around. And with the, and you know, this one, remember the wheels didn't move on this one. So, but yeah, all the way around, a much bigger vehicle. This one did have that opening cockpit that was pretty cool. Of course, it opened the wrong way. But we did get some pretty cool details in that one. But again, this is definitely going to replace that up on the shelf because it just has a very very nice look to it i mean yeah batman's just gonna more or less just kind of stand next to it but at least he is in scale with it so that does look good um you know next to the batmobile now as far as some comparisons we'll bring out the uh, jaded toys hollywood rides echo one so that is pretty cool these two look great together they look really good next to each other again both have rolling wheels both have a lot of detail, both are die cast. 
So yeah, both of these look awesome. They're gonna look great up on the shelf. Now, if you wanted to compare it to something a little bit smaller, like a Hot Wheels, here is the um, Michael Keaton Hot Wheels. So that gives you a little comparison of how big this is. I mean, personally for me, I really like this scale right here with this with the uh, jaded toys here because again it's sharp it looks nice it has moving wheels it's nice and heavy and um it's not going to take up a lot of real estate on the shelf and it just makes a really really cool looking piece for the shelf and i, I mean if again if um it was a pain in the butt getting the batmobile out of the cardboard you know as you can see it you pretty much end up ripping this all up but you could technically I guess still use this if you just be a little bit more careful and it would give yourself a little backdrop maybe to you know display or even if you keep it in the box I mean it looks great in box but yeah guys that was a look at the metal die cast Batmobile and Batman from the Batman Anim animated series this is from Jada Toys um, I picked mine up at Walmart for about, I think it was 20 bucks. Um, I also have the uh, Knight Rider kit that we're going to be reviewing next. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.